Hello. I'm a little nervous because I can always tell when a video is going to be seen by a lot of people, so I'm grateful, but I'm also a little nervous. The universe loves you so much, my friends, and I know it doesn't always feel that way. Life can get pretty tough, and I think that's an understatement, <laughs> but there is no question that the universe loves you. The universe adores you, and it wants to spoil you. It wants to give you everything you want and more, but it's not always going to give you what you want right away. And you might be wondering, well, why, Phil? Why doesn't the universe give me what I want? It's because our number one assignment on this planet, and remember, this is a school, our number one assignment, our number one priority is to learn how to release our control. Stop controlling the people in your life. Stop controlling the outcomes. Stop controlling what you want. Stop thinking that you're in control of the timing. You've never been in control of the timing. Things are going to happen on the universe's watch, not on your watch. And if you think about it, if you're too desperate when it comes to what you want, are you really happy? No, you're constantly reaching for something. That's not happiness. That's resistance. That's you not trusting the process. It's you not trusting the process. See, most humans in this world are very selfish. They're like, give me, give me. I want more. I want more. They're not thinking about their bigger picture. They're thinking about what their ego wants. And a lot of people are going to claim to be happy because they got what they want from their ego, not from the universe, <laughs> but they're not happy. And eventually it's going to bite them in the ass. I promise you, you can't escape this. So when you stand out from the crowd, when you're not selfish, when you understand the bigger picture, you start serving the universe. You start going, wow, I've been so caught up in my mind that I haven't really enjoyed my day. And I could be dead tomorrow. You know, I'm not appreciating my family. I'm not appreciating my friends. I'm not appreciating spending quality time with myself. I'm constantly busy in my mind. And my life is going by as I do that. I'm literally missing out on amazing opportunities every day. Here's what I want you to know. If you can't find freedom here and now, you're not going to find freedom. Tough pill to swallow, but it's true. You're not going to find freedom. Freedom is a choice. Freedom is like, you know what? I'm going to put this down for a bit. I'm going to go for a walk in nature because I deserve that. I'm going to enjoy my day because I could be dead tomorrow. That is freedom. And what you'll find is that when you finally let go of your control, that's when the universe is going to compensate you tenfold. It's going to give you everything you want and more. Because you started serving the universe. You started prioritizing what really matters. Okay? Again, our lesson is to learn that our happiness doesn't depend on what we can get from the physical world. Our happiness is an inside job. Nothing out there can save you. Nothing. It can add to your life. It can add to the happiness you found within but our job is to remember this physical world is nothing compared to the world I came from. And that world I came from is speaking to me from within me. It's showing me how to be happy now. It's showing me that I can choose freedom in any given moment. Every moment is a new moment. You get to choose, right? You get to choose. Am I going to have an attitude of gratitude or am I going to get caught up in my head wondering what's going to happen next in my life? That's all control. You understand that, right? The ego doesn't want you to be present with your life. It wants to kidnap you. It wants to enslave you. When you're present, you are breaking free. When your friend is opening up about their problems, even if you have your own problems, and you attentively listen to your friend, you're being present. You're serving the universe. And the universe is going to start to identify you as a servant. As someone who understood the assignment, and as a result of that, it's going to give you everything you want and more. All right?
So start shifting your attitude. Start having an attitude of gratitude. You could be dead tomorrow. You won't be, but you could be. So appreciate every moment and trust the timing of all things because it's all going to work out in the end. I promise. I promise. And I love you.